What an interesting movie that was. What an interesting movie Signs was indeed. Welcome to episode 289's Catch Hello. Up for Super Chats. We're, we're hey. here to check out what you guys had to say. What a what a strange episode to come out of the blues. Like, oh, we're going to talk about Signs that, that, what's his name? M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. One could call it the film where it was over. <laughs> where it was like, well, the hype yeah, is dead. Yeah, that was kind of the last one. Yeah. It was what's the, the uh, what's he up to these days? He made uh, he's that making movies. Josh Hartnett one, yeah. right? Yeah, crap. I think he's it was called movies, the trap. I think I think they make money. They you know they don't cost right? much money to make. Evil? That's the thing. Well, it would be remember, science was really expensive, but these films now that he makes are not as expensive. He would be an interesting one to movies. do an arc for because it's such a crazy roller coaster. Once you're well into the bad. Because you know you you have no idea what's gonna happen, you know where it'll bump up or down. Um, did that film with the uh, Batista, right? Where it was like three guys or four people in a forest come to a couple and say we have to kill one of you to save the world. It yeah, was really, knock really... at the cabin. It's cool that he's making these weird premises. You're like, yeah, go for it. Maybe you'll hit one out oh, of the park someday. Is now is uh, like I said, his films cost a lot less money to make now, so it doesn't really matter whether. Like, yeah. they're, they're just likely to succeed because they're not, like, earlier in his career where they you know, because Signs had a budget of $72 million. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's crazy. And Especially it made it back, the early it? 2000s. It did. It was very successful. There was, again, it was the last one that was that successful. <laughs> oh, and as yeah. we went through, there were scenes and moments we really liked. There were some yeah, in there. It's, uh, it's a very quintessential mixed bag. I thought it was bad. <laughs> I did not <laughs> myself. Um, I uh, well, I guess we'll get on with it. Uh, sorry, yeah. can't watch this live. Headachtisms. That's all right. No problem. Woohoo! Yeah. We get capital O hands. The most based and underrated guest. Let's go. I think capital O is pretty cool. Yeah. Is he underrated? What does it mean to be underrated? Like, like, I guess, doesn't get enough hype? Is that what they're saying? Because uh, Underrated anyway. would be, like, underappreciated, right? Whereas overhated would mean that something or somebody gets too much flack. Um, it's like one is, yeah, that would, that would be sort of the, not dichotomy, I suppose, but comparison. Uh, fair, fair. Uh, no, guys, don't you see? It's KK's fault. She controls everything that happens in Star Wars. Dave has never been cringe. Kappa. Mm. I think the, that's going to deteriorate more and more. Force is not as, they're not as strong as they used to be. No. It's, uh, they're only strengthened by good projects. They need more good ones. Because so Ahsoka be was bad. bad. Yes. Really yeah, bad. bad. Long man, my 13th great grandfather was knighted, knighted for killing the Prince of Wales. Consider this reparations, I guess. Cheers. Well, thank Yo, you. Yo, appreciate that's it. That's a cool thing to have in your family history. Yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Revisit uh, who killed Captain Alex. Also, petition to impeach Rags if he makes puns without the House of Humans' permission. Humans? I'll make puns whenever I want, quite frankly. There you go. Let's answer that. Wait, this isn't the EFAP Mini for Arcane 2 teaser? Well, we didn't make that. So, mwahaha. Right, we just watched it. So I will say, the uh, guest list for that EFAP is uh, plenty to choose from. Many people are very excited mm -hmm. for that one. Yep. Can't watch you guys now. Just wanted to say, the boys, first three episodes, very, very bad. She is. Oh, for season four? Um, didn't end strong. A lot of people did not like that one. We'll have to see. I think five is their last one, right? That's the end. I couldn't give At least less for of that, a shit. Got other I don't give a fuck. That you know, I'm going to see some clip on Twitter one day of Homelander getting killed, and they'll be like, well, there it is. I guess that's <laughs> the end of you. <laughs> they baited it for like five seasons, and finally it's over. There you go. Because that's the ultimate event. There's nothing really else that's built up in that fucking show. Mm -hmm. Will he ever well, die? Kind of the problem, blow blow. right? Is like you just have to prolong him existing as an antagonist, but not getting killed or winning. Yeah. So. And they've done an awful job of that. And then eventually he'll die. Yep. Um. 
was just thinking about this film. Don't know that it holds up objectively, but I love it all the same. It was very special when I was a young lad. Yeah, it was super special for shit tons of people. It scared a shit ton of people in the cinema. It it, it did its job. Um, so it's got a bit of fame from back in the day. I remember. Uh, Mando should have been like, have gun, will travel. Great show, by the way. Had 39 episode long seasons. That's a lot of episodes. <laughs> we were, I should have been with uh, Friggy. If it was Grandpa and Simpsons. And he was like, <laughs> back in my day, there used to be 22 episode seasons that were 40 minutes per episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, there used to be full of those stories. things out. Yep. Well, like, uh, Penguin episode lengths are quite nice and, and chunky, and then you're like, yeah, you've already seen nearly half the show, though. And you're like, what? Yeah, because they're short. Yes, I uh, just appreciate what you get when it's good. Rags, next time Morley makes fun of our money, tell him to read the quotes on his money and laugh. Why don't you read us a quote from your money, Mahler? I don't reach have into your any with me. Reach into your... Reach into your... Wallet that has your coin pouch on it, and pull out a coin. Um, which which do you want me to do first? Uh, the yellow one. Okay. What's your money about? There's Bank of England. Okay. Let's see what else here? I promise to pay the bearer on demand the sum of twenty pounds. Twenty pound note. There's got to right. be more in there. I'm looking. Get to the uh, cringe part that they were referring to. Uh, it says London for the governor and company of the Bank of England. Chief cashier Sarah John. <laughs> okay. Bank of England. Bank be like of our England. treasurer, I guess. Yeah. Pounds. Governor and company of the Bank of England. Joseph Mallard, William Turner, 75 to 1851. Uh, there's nothing really else. Maybe it's on a coin. Try a coin. Let's see if I've got any coins in my very practical and useful coin pocket. Uh, pretty big coat, but yeah. I know you cope. You don't need to say it. That's weird. 20 no, pence. you are coping. Elizabeth the second, D C R E G F D. All right. I wonder what D C stands for. Well, <laughs> that's that, I suppose. I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean. Um, <laughs> it's gotta. I mean. Fringy, how much guzzoline have you consumed? How much? I, what is that? Gasoline? The stuff they drink, it, not drink, the stuff they use in Mad Max for fuel. Oh, right, right. Uh, none, really. <laughs> it's not, the apocalypse isn't here yet. Uh -huh. Any day now, from what I hear on the news, though. Uh, bring a guest on Super Chat episodes. Why? <laughs> I think if we're going to have a guest on, they probably want to be on uh, episodes where they're not having questions that are meant for us, typically speaking. Uh, also, EFAB should sue Obsidian because they stole your cum yum joke and made it a meal in Friday Night, uh, oh, Fallout New Vegas called Yum Yum Eggs. Cum yum <sighs> and yum yum are very different things. Yum yeah, yum eggs and cum yum jokes are not... It's probably Not safe really to say comparable. that Vegas kind of came out before EFAM started. That's true, yeah. Kind of. It did. Thanks for the years of content, Massives, and thanks for introducing me and many others to Arcane. Did you see the writing challenges with creating a context for Jinx and Vi to actually fight? Uh, not really, no. Um, I'm not even 100% sure. I, I, I think they're being very clever with the marketing for Arcane. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what we should be assuming is definitely happening at any time, honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, emphasis on the word fucking time. I believe we'll be dealing with multiple eras as well as possible forms of time travel, depending on how much magic we get into. Slash hyper technology. Mm -hmm. We shall mm -hmm. see. Time travel. We love that. 
You've watched British Star Wars. You've watched American Star Wars. It's time to watch Italian Star Wars, a.k.a. Godfather and Australian Star Wars, a.k.a. Mad Max. Oh, I still have nothing... note things to say before run out. All right. I think everyone here has seen Godfather, right? Yeah. And Mad Max. Let me some Mad Max. I need to rewatch them, though. It's been a long time. I died surrounded by water, a signs alien. Yeah, that's what they would say. For a second there, I <laughs> thought you were going to say, like, Boba Fett died. And I was like, wait, what show did this happen in? And then I was like, oh, he's fine. <laughs> it's like, this is a show or movie I just hadn't seen that came out of the Disney factory or something. Yeah, Boba Fett will return. Sure of it. Sometimes I can't resist the urge to stand up at the back of the bus and clap for the driver to show appreciation. I have ADHD. Please don't laugh. Hey, if he doesn't crash, you know, job well done. That's right. Man's Glass. got an important job. Glass is Shyamalama Ding Dong's TLJ. Bruce Willis literally drowns in a puddle, and after they build up his fight with the split guy, the whole movie. Garbage. Yep, I despised Split. I hear nobody likes that. Sorry, Glass. <laughs> split was um, a moment of like, oh my god, is he back? And then they they bait that movie, and it, it killed everybody. I, I'm pretty sure Wolf was particularly pissed off, because he really... I think I think Unbreakable is like his favorite superhero movie. And that's saying a lot, you know? So it's uh, sad what they did, but they did it. And it's done. Uh, Lady in the Water was his anti-critic film. I remember the TV critic or movie critic man gets murdered in it horribly. Uh, it's not subtle. It's funny. Uh, Signs is Stuckman's favorite film for some reason. Also, it's sad to know Akashite is coming out while Andor Season 2 is finished, done, but no release date. Mm. Don't worry, we'll get it. The further away from Acolyte it is, the better. Yes! <laughs> What's well, true? The further it gets away, the less it has to deal with well, the existence. The notion that, like, because Skeleton Crew's this year, right? Is it? This year. Yeah, yeah the end so, of this year. Does that mean Andor will be on its own for Star Wars next year? Uh, I don't know what else is happening next year. There's no movies, there's no games, as far as I'm aware. And then no TV shows. And I don't on recall one. that there are any other TV shows happening either. So, yeah. Finally, a, year for, uh... a good year for Star Wars. <laughs> yes, that's right. The first one ever since Disney the first acquired one them. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be weird. The Star Wars just hung around and it's never had a good anything ever. <laughs> Uh, bu bu bu. Lady in the Water is a perfect example of a terrible movie that I love. Kind of like Bo is Afraid. Also, High Rags. Also, also watch Hello. Paprika. Paprika? Uh, I have Paprika in oh. my uh, in my kitchen. Go watch it. All right. All right. Can I put it on some first? I guess so, but you're only allowed to watch it. I don't know how satisfying that'll be, but maybe. Uh, Fringy, thank you for giving Mob Psycho 100 a try. When these Super Chats are read, hope enough time has passed that we can get your thoughts on it. Oh, well, I haven't finished it yet, but I've been enjoying it so far, but I'm, I'm only in the first season, so I've still got a while to go. To be honest, I used to think EFAB was an online circle jerk. How wrong you were. Uh, yeah. We're not a circle jerk, we're hateful. Yeah. Very hateful. A hate jerk. What if it turns out that the terrorists are actually the group being terrorized by werewolves from the future? Oh. Whoa! Calm down there! That does sound like a Shyamalan film. We did get Scary Movie 3 out of this film. Yes, the Signs is one of the primary things it makes fun of, and I adore Scary Movie 3. So good. Leave it to Disney to take the fun and joy out of lesbians. Off topic, and I don't care. I'm gonna watch Wiz the Boys Aunt number nine after this. Okay. Ooh. Hope you have fun. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Plenty of stuff that doesn't make sense, but when I saw it as a young and I loved the acting and characters, and I always felt it was a really fun suspense thriller. The cinematography aged kind of badly. Well, we went over it extensively, I think. We had yes. pluses and negatives. I I think there's a great film inside what we saw that someone mm -hmm. else maybe could make someday. So, yeah. 
M. Night Shyamalan is the Bethesda of movie directors. Hmm. I wonder what they mean by that. I don't know. Do they make, does it yeah. mean they made good games at some point and now don't? And he, 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 does he have... I don't know. Because their games are often like overhyped and said they're better than they really are. Um, hmm. There's a lot of memes surrounding like the games and what they are, but they're a huge cultural present, presence in their own way, even though many people would say it's undeserved. But nothing, no one really does the stuff that they do, so they kind of have that unique quality to them. Some of that yeah, applies wonder, to him, wonder. I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe that's what they're going for. Mm. By the way, Bethesda's reputation has absolutely tanked lately. Because yep. Starfield. Yeah, I wouldn't say Shyamalan's tanked lately. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, uh, he's no, been, I mean, tanked uh, at a time, but it's kind of now in a different place. Yeah. Uh, I love signs, fair enough. Farewell and adieu to you, fair Flemish massives. Farewell and adieu to you, massives of Fleem. Oh, yes. yeah, and see you too. Massive. Chili does indeed taste better over time. Google, why does chili taste better over time? Betcha feels silly now, huh? Molecules, mate. Nope. Hmm. Don't feel silly at all. It's weird. Signs it isn't weird. has an excellent soundtrack. I can... Maybe. I, can, I can't remember after watching the movie. I remember the opening track... Um, I'm trying to remember. I think if I listened to it in isolation, I could believe it. It was wrong. Uh, I, it's hard to think about now because this was a, this was a bit back. Do 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 it, Bill Burr. What? Dang. Did Bill Burr get forced by Palpatine to do it? I don't know. That would be unusual. I'd watch that movie. I would watch it. Yeah. It's fitting that Jay Bauman only had one line in Smiling Friends, lol. For some reason, that fits very well. Are you trying to say you don't like him talking? Is that what you're trying to say? He says things that are insightful sometimes. He's not sometimes. all cringe. I love his vast wealth of knowledge from, like, obscure things. Cool. Yeah, that is kind of uncanny. That's weird. And then his, uh, his obsession with horror in general is usually quite fun. He'll have all kinds of fun facts that you would never even know from a fucking wiki page, but... You know. Yeah. Google uh, Cuckoo Birds. That is how that's... Is that how that's spelled? Cuckoo or Cuckoo? I think so. I think it's Cuckoo Birds. Cuckoo Birds. But I think I know what they're talking about. How they yeah. have like a parasitic... Oh yeah, they're essentially parasites habits. in bird form. Scary stuff. Yeah. I'm talking about tattling on drug users. I'm talking about Narcan. What's the what's what's the context here? What's happening? Gotta help me out. That's all Mark? This Look up the know. only place thumbnail for best of misinterpretations. It's a funny one. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Best of misinterpretations. That's gotta be like a collection of times they've misunderstood things, I guess. That would be fun. <laughs> a big <laughs> compilation of those <laughs> Like I said, I recommend all the ones about uh channel awesome and stuff. Yeah, the old conversations. Yeah, there's compilations for, like, fucking everything they've ever talked about, because they've made an enormous amount of stuff, but that's that's the one. <laughs> that's amusing. Never don't have amusing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Much like the first, Mega Man 2 has a similarly distinct set of box arts based on region between Japan, US, and UK, which is your favorite. Shall we uh, send you onto that, Rags, while I continue for a bit? Uh, yeah, type that in again so I got them all uh, here listed. Ba-boom. Okay, thanks. Good. I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, and I love EFAP. Knew it. New gay actor Michael Douglas loved EFAP. According to the character, Torino in the GTA universe, Hitler didn't kill himself and the US didn't bomb Japan. I bet it was the Welsh. It might have been. I would confirm or deny. Ugh, if you didn't grow up with GTA 3 and you're trying to beat it for the first time, you'll need a course in anger management. Playing PS2 version. Uh, yeah, it can be hard. It can be really hard. And of course, this is before they had checkpoints for the mission, so... You know, you died, that's... You just gotta do it all over again. 
I never played GTA 3. I don't even... You I think I know what it looks GTA like, 3? but I've never played it. No. Okay, that's... uh. I mean, I suppose what's interesting is that returning to GTA 3, even after playing something like San Andreas, can be a bit difficult because, you know, the game. the game's just, like, incrementally built upon what was there. So there's just, like, more mechanics. There, there's, like, more versatility so it can be a bit hard to return to but of course gta 3 it's an important game kicked off grand theft auto as a series in earnest really uh and open world games in general all right so these are our selection of megamans <laughs> i see okay so we, what, the first what's the one is the then? u.s the first of one course. there the first picture yeah, is the u.s looks really not great <laughs> the second one is uh japan and yep. the third one is the UK. Like, <laughs> it's just funny because they, they, it, it's like nobody, nobody like agreed or convened or talked about like what they were going for. You or know, what the game was about or anything like that. Direction. Because of course now you'd be like, why is Mega Man like, like a, like a guy, like a, like an actual, like kind like of like actual, realistic looking like guy, guy in a suit. Why isn't it, why is it like a cartoon world with cartoon characters? Um, like it is in the Japanese box art. We gotta sell that it to those cool, badass me. Americans, man. They only like <laughs> the guy with gun. I mean, it's a thing that becomes, like, less and less... The more that time goes on, the less that there is a distinction between, like, the kind of box art that is on games. Um, people fight over which one tends to have the better box art, which I suppose is kind of an interesting conversation. Um... That, yeah, I don't know. That Mega Man 2 one, like, goddamn. That look, the America one, I mean. Jeez. Ah, we've been focusing on that a lot, but, like, the European one, why? Like, what? What it's is very going cinematic. On? It doesn't even yeah. look remotely like Mega Man. And yes, it does look very cinematic. That's State like a of movie the art, poster. high resolution graphics. Mega Man 2. Yeah. No, I mean, obviously, I like the Japanese one the most. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you were given these posters all as representative of the game you're about to play, it would be fucking confusing. It would be confusing. It's, it's Again, it's as though what is this nobody about? talked to each other about what it is. <laughs> well, you'd say, well, obviously, the Japanese one is wrong after you saw the other two. Yeah, you would assume that because those two look more alike than um, the Japanese box art, but the Japanese one is the the representative one. Mm -hmm. I know it's something that um, it's interesting in terms of like the sort of general trend, right, with the box art. I, I think it's 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 with Kirby where the Japanese release Kirby's happy, but in the Western release Kirby's like angry or determined. <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. the yeah. clearest the clearest way of conveying how it works. If it's in America or Europe, they're more angry, and if they're in Japan, they're more happy. That's like that's what the box art tells you. Kirby's a badass that means business. Hell yeah. I um yeah. I've seen videos of Shibas using an intense grinning expression to try and convince their owners to give them a nibble of their food. So adorable. It works. <laughs> yeah, I can believe that. Look, it works, all right? They do. They can't resist. This face? You're getting what you want. That's all I'm saying, man. You're getting what you want. Hey, Fringle Dingle Bingle. Did you ever save scum the horse betting in GTA San Andreas? I always do to buy the old airport. Uh, no. <laughs> no, fair and square. Damn, this super chatter got absolutely destroyed with their cheating scandal. Exposed. Wait, was that... Wait, was that... Sorry, was that... I, now I'm actually blanking, because I remember all the casinos and stuff like that. Was there horse betting? There was, wasn't there? Was there? I'm assuming from the guy saying that there is. Yeah, I, I, um... Because well, everything be I... No. Like, what, what always comes to mind for me when I think of, like, Los Venturas is just, uh... Is um, is uh like the casino blackjack poker and all that. I love how if you're fat, if you fat CJ, he has different lines of dialogue, and one of them when he <laughs> loses is on oh, damn my waffle money. <laughs> <laughs> my what money? Sorry. 
my waffle money. Oh, no. <laughs> it's really good. Not my waffle money. Do they have Kessel Sabak in San Andreas? Oh, I hope uh, so. No, That's it's, my uh, it's, quite a, it's quite an oversight, honestly. Whoops, yeah. It's, um, yeah, really. Man, that was... I love how I did it once, and it's like, cool, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> I'm I, never ever doing this again. I don't again. enjoy Sabak as a game. It's, it's very lame. I uh, nailed all of the Sabak sections quite easily as well, because I don't know if you played a Rags, but the, have you unlocked all the cheats? It's fucking insane when you get the three cheats. Oh, I can imagine some of the cheats would be nuts. I only played it just, a, like, a couple times to be like, oh, okay, that was kind of neat. I'm done now. So... It needs to be more complex. Uh, it's, it's actually just just wrong, as far as I'm concerned. The first cheat, as you guys probably know, is you can see everyone's cards. It's like, wow. That's, that's huge. insane in Sabak. Yeah, and you could do it every turn if you want. It, like, I just, you'd think at least they'd work like lifelines in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? You know, once and that's it. They're out now. But uh, not only can you use one more as many times as you want, you can use all of them as many times as you want. The second one you unlock is the um, the weighted dice, so you can just get whatever is die result you want, which is amazing. Which is well. insane, because that card is extremely powerful. Yes. And then the third cheat is to have an extra card, just in general. You just get to Holy draw an extra. Holy shit! Yep. That's and like you, pot of greed shit. You can run all three of those all the time. What's the point of the rules? <laughs> well, they have this DLC that's coming out that's all about Sabak, and I was like, can you run all the well, cheats you're lying. in that? What? Because if you Do can, really? what the fuck is the point? Yeah, Do the they next, really have a the, the new DLC, DLC is uh, you have to infiltrate a Sabak tournament, and apparently you have to defeat Lando in it, even though you do that in the game anyway. It's going to be great. Shut up. You're excited. Admit it. I'm, I'll am i be there to play Kessel Sabak. I'll load, I haven't un uninstalled it yet from my computer, so oh. it'll be there whenever I need it. Um, I squelch regularly. Yoinky shploinky. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. I think that doctors suggest you should squelch once every two weeks. Sure. Just because it's good for your pores. Some of the aliens just want our grain. Yeah, I mean, it's good grain. Uh, I'm gay actor Michael Douglas, and I love EFAP. Oh, I read that one already, but it deserves to be read twice. Steve can carry 36 shulker boxes, each filled with 27 stacks of one meter square of iron. 64 times 27 times 36 equals 62,208 meters squared, which weighs 489 kilotons or 287 marshmallow men. There you go. That's information so you can hold a lot. You didn't have before, but now you, you have that information. Ooh, He's nice He's a strong planet. guy, man. Steve should not... Do not underestimate Steve. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice planet, Steve, but you could have told us about the deadly acid on 71% of its surface that can fall from the sky at any moment and comes out of the inhabitants' skin when they drink it. <laughs> the, a famous complaint I appreciate about this movie is pretty... Uh... All of the attempts to make it make sense, but it don't. <laughs> you, can, you can try as hard as you want, but it don't. Are you Grungo's going to talk about the Arcane Season 2 trailer? Probably not, but... Um, I have not even... I haven't seen it yet. Your rag's avoiding it. it. He's, he's been an, an avoiding yeah. Andy. I'm an avoiding Andy. Uh, Andy is famous for avoiding things. Mm-hmm. So I will do that. I had a debate with someone about YouTube critics. His arguments were so bad. He resorted to saying it's way more charitable to say you're lying about a movie than to say you're objectively wrong about a movie. What? Damn. It's more charitable to say you're lying than you're wrong. That's interesting. Okay. Oh. This guy was, this man was hurt as a child. Flipper he had baby. a, maybe like a, he had a bad experience with movie kids or something. Maybe. The recruiter speculated that these were a recon group being sent to see what they can do before the invasion force arrives, probably why they're invisible. Yeah, that's... Except for the part where they're clearly not. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> it's, 
something. There's so much, like, recon, that feels like an explanation that barely addresses one thing and then just makes everything else make less sense. It's, I don't think we should be hanging on to that, really. Um, what do you guys think of this defense of a bad movie, in this case Godzilla x Kong? It's so dumb, it's almost immune to criticism. If you criticize it, you're taking it more seriously than the movie is. Yeah, we don't care about those sorts of defenses. I don't here. care. Like, if someone yeah. says that, okay, cool story, but like, I'm still going to I talk still about had to buy a ticket at the theater. Well, yeah. Lil Platoon yeah, got people... loads of backlash for him addressing the writing in the film, and people were like, you're not supposed to take it seriously. It's like, yeah, but what if it were good? But though? then why did they put I it I mean, yeah. you can do whatever you want uh, in terms of taking it seriously or not. Don't go and get mad at somebody for what taking if it seriously. It was good. Like, yeah. That would be cool. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be better yeah. and really awesome? Yeah, what yeah. if it was really fun and exciting and it was well written? Wow, Possible. Yeah. Uh, the most charitable case is they're allergic to the microorganisms in the water and not the third most abundant molecule in the universe, vital for life. I don't even. How would they have space travel? Yeah, they would have all this stuff. They'd know about germs from other planets. And they stuff. are rivaling the stupidity of the the humans in Alien Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not good, by the way. That's bad. You don't want to be on that point. Uh, ooh, which character do you like better, Borden or Angier? I would have to see the movie again to make sure. What have you got, Fringy? What movie? There's is this something story? about. There's something about. Um, Hugh Jackman was who again? Remind me of the character name. Angier. There's something about oh, Angier's, right, right, I guess, yeah. motive that I find really interesting and compelling the reason why he's doing it. It's not just like, it's more than just simple fame or power or money or everything. You know, there's something about that. That's just, it's just really interesting. Um, you know? hmm. I, I get what you mean, rags. I do. I do want to, hmm. Hmm. Man, but the dual almost like, but the dual character angle though, is like yep. very fascinating, very very fascinating. Um, like in, in terms of in terms of like a layer of like, well, what does it even mean to say that you're comparing them? It's like, well, you're comparing one man to two men pretending to be one guy, and uh, there are differences a... drawn between them in the film for sure. That that's what I mean. It's like it's two guys playing one guy who still have their differences manifest. Uh, in ways that are obviously unpredictable if you don't recognize that it's two people. Um, but I think, yeah, I think I would be leaning towards Angier, especially because of his last speech, right, about, like, the... I, I, something that was particularly compelling was um, him saying it took tremendous fear getting up on that stage, not knowing if I'd be the man in the box or the prestige. It's like, oh, shit, that, that really makes you think. Very uh, existential, you know? Yeah, um, I have nothing but interest in the obsessive element of both Angier and one of the Bordens. The other Borden, of course, being the more family man type, who's, uh, mm -hmm. he just seems much more well-balanced. Which right, I think would right. be an easy argument from anybody to be why he's the favorite, as in he values the family over any, everything else. He wants it to diffuse. He doesn't like the uh, pursuit as much as his twin does of the mm -hmm. obsession. But like Angie's final speech, talking about how his yeah. his big fundamental core value is watching the audience believe for a second that the world wasn't as boring, simple, and crap as they thought it was. That's so you cool. See the look mm. on their faces, and and like uh, what I found even more interesting was that he he was talking to a man who didn't really believe that about him, nor did he quite have that himself. Like he, that wasn't quite why he was interested. Because uh, he doesn't like the, the, that last conversation. There's there's so much to say about everything that's happening in it for uh, both of them and just what everything means in the story. But yeah, um, Angia goes from being probably the clear, arguable hero to the supervillain by the end of it. Um, but I mean, you get everything you need to understand why he does what he does. I mean, he yeah, he like deteriorates in terms of uh, in terms of his uh. I guess normalcy as a as an individual. Yeah, um, I love them all, but it's like favorite. <laughs> it's hard not to enjoy the shit out of both of them hatching their big, complicated plans that rely on like a really decent understanding of everyone involved. 
Um, That's why yeah. it's such an incredible movie. Like, you have both sides that are both complex in different ways, foiled against each other. I just, I, there's something about, it's one of the reasons I really, really like Odin, too, and Ragnarok, is, like, the motivations of the villain are so interesting and unusual for what you see, but well, relatable at the same time. But, but very normal. Like, Odin's yeah. desire is incredibly normal. He, he, he just can't deal with the uncertainty of the future. Like, he's so uh, incapable of dealing with the uncertainty of the future that he basically destroys his present life and the circumstances of everybody around him, it, desperately seeking answers that aren't actually going to solve his problems, his real problem. It's one of the reasons why Greek mythology in particular is, is such a timeless quality to it, compared to a lot of other mythologies, is that there's this very human relatable element that they kind of baked into the characters of their mythology and in the stories of their mythology um the gods are greedy and envious and they're lustful they love they have families they have you know their own personal desires and things very human like basal experiences that we have you have those same similarities in the stories of the greek gods and so it gives them this, you know, timeless quality that you don't get in a lot of other places. Hey crew, do you don't mind me unrelated to the topic, but does anyone have any tips for solo Halo 2 legendary on Metropolis? <laughs> Good no, luck. I don't. <laughs> I Halo 2 is particularly uh frustrating on legendary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Good luck. I'm sure there are resources out there to figure out how to get past the sniper jackals, but yeah, there's yeah. gonna be strats <laughs> for sure. But, the uh, reality is, like, it's it's I don't know, just like they know have they are prepared, precision. have the right weaponries. Yes, save your battle rifle and yes, your stuff for those guys. Specifically. Battle rifle is oppressive. <laughs> you should just have it all the time. I do really enjoy this film for the performances, family dynamic, and the mixture of comedy and thriller. I think it needed a fire in the sky alien scene to iron out a few major issues with why the aliens behave in ways. There's what is a, lot a fire of... in the sky alien? What is that referencing? Um, I don't remember. I feel like it's half familiar, but also um, I got nothing, unfortunately. But Oh, I, was... I know what they're talking about. That movie from like the, the 90s or 80s? I think I know what it's referencing. Never mind. I know what they're referencing. I was going to say that uh, the there are a lot of ways, a lot of tweaks you could do to better make the film coherent, but I'd probably rather take a couple of things and just rebuild most of it. Like, instead of just trying to tweak a couple kind of, of bits. Yeah, I feel like that's one of those movies. Still plenty, plenty of things to keep, different elements, but um, I don't think there's like one fix that's going to make that movie great or anything. No. If they saved the dog, the dog could have guarded the kids in the basement while Mel and Phoenix went upstairs to get his meds to... Mm. Well, the the aspect of the dogs were getting a bit wild, right? Is uh, It just needed to be properly addressed because the intention was not to abandon the dog, and they did, and then it died. Yeah, the dogs got abandoned and left out there to get killed by the aliens. It's horrible. It's weird, too. It just... Yeah. Because I think the, the moment in isolation is very scary. The uh, zoom into a wall slowly and you can just hear the sounds of the dog, but unfortunately this context is we forgot the dog. He's out there because of them. I forgot that yeah. dog and left him out there. If it were a different context, that scare, you know, you have to work harder to get that scare than doing that because it hurts the characters. Yeah, yeah. or the, they were under incredible duress eh, I just, when they forgot it or it's just like... It's the dog! It's you really know, tough. Like, the problem is yeah, really people love their pooches, it's all of man. them forgetting, so. you know? All of them yeah, none of the, the like, yeah. Like, if if the dad is hyper focused on the girls, and one of the, you know, one of the little girls reminds him as he's like super panicking and focused on his kids, then that would be people, something that's pretty believable. Like, people say something as well, like, oh, well, you know, it's like a farm dog. It's like, yeah, it doesn't change the fact that there's a fucking oh, they alien. They love it covered. extra. Like, is that what you mean? Yeah. <laughs> so it has it's it's extra. like, oh, well, you know, it's like a working dog. It's not the same as like having a companion dog. I mean, a dog is a dog. Like, you, like, there are aliens coming, all right? Like, I don't know what you to know say. How, like, you know how farmers hate animals, right? Yeah, like, I just... I just no, I, I, as much as you could reference all that, it's just like, watch the film. They love the dogs. Yeah, exactly. 
And they just forgot about that poor doggo. Uh, the best I part don't about, like it. Best part about signs is we got Scary Movie 3. I'm inclined <laughs> to agree. God was pranking Mel for losing faith. <laughs> the, the aliens are actually demons. The water is holy water or something. God could just poof away the demons, but he's a bit of a dick. Play trails in the sky. Listen, yeah, that was another... we're out here objectively analyze the actions of God, all right? Well, we'll have to get into a big discussion. The holy um, water thing is a f <laughs> it's, it's fun, but it just doesn't work. It's like, why, why would it be holy water in the bookstore, remember? Because... It's a it's a store that sells like, exclusively Bibles. I don't think it's holy water just because he's not even a current um Correct. Priest, he's an right? ex minister. I'm not hundred percent clear on how water holy water rules work, but does it require a blessing rather than just yeah. automatic? I think it requires like a, a like a proper priest to make a blessing for it. Uh, the film also implies God is the only is only God of humans because why not just sabotage the alien ships? Y'all are making great points, but I still like it. I, we wouldn't expect to make anybody not like the film. Um, yeah, I like fine. a lot of it. I just uh, it just wasn't it was worse than I remembered, and I don't know. Like I guess th there's plenty to be interested by, uh, and, and it, it definitely sparks off the old uh, brain juices. I just um, a bit disappointed in a lot of ways. Yeah. There's a monster outside my room. Can I have a glass of water? Yes, that's a quote. One of the uh, earlier parts of the film. Humans are made of water and the aliens don't know this? Well, yeah, interesting. I guess that's more reasonable than them not knowing that Earth has water on it. Earth is just filled with water. <laughs> it's mostly water. <laughs> it, it, like, what do you think that. all that blue stuff is from space when you're yeah. approaching in your spacecraft? Also, hello, Mola, Rags, Fringy, and everyone. Hello. Hey. Yo. Hope you're having a good day. I am. I hope you guys are too. It's a good day. It's a solid day. Solid day. Remember in Battle Los Angeles when the aliens landed near the water specifically so they could use and take it? Laugh my ass off. Uh, man, I barely remember shit about that I, movie. I, 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 I never saw I've it. seen that movie. <laughs> but like, I don't remember much about it. I, um... Yeah, like I, dude, I barely remember anything about that film at all. Um, I I don't remember like wh why they landed where they did or anything like that. It's it's actually just like yeah, I gone. don't remember anything it's about really... anything, honestly. Bizarro Chris Stuckman, Jeremy Johns, was inspired to start his career by Transformers Three being really bad. Well, hey, inspiration yeah. can indeed come from anywhere. Transformers Three is really bad, really, really bad. Yeah. Worst directors of Gen X from least bad to awful. M. Night Shyamalan, Jonathan Nolan, Rain Johnson, oh, Ryan Johnson, they've switched the... Colin Trevorrow, or Trevorrow, I still don't even know which one's the correct one. Paul W.S. Anderson, Zack Snyder, Alex Kurtzman, and awfulest of them all, Jar Jar Abrams. Oh, is that like that order? Paul yeah, W.S. Anderson can make hilarious movies that I legitimately enjoy. I mean, it's well, I'm happy to put there. him in the bad really section, your... but yes, he uses bad, but that, but, I mean, that, that puts the, him above the others if we're ranking. That is a collection is an interesting one because there's really like you've got the pretentious ones, you've got the uh the, the flop ones, you've got like the goofy wacky ones like Paul W. S. Anderson. It's like a kind of a sort of a hodgepodge, right? Of of mm -hmm. like directors who have created a lot of bad films through various methods and outlooks on storytelling and filmmaking. Oh, this is an interesting one. So, thoughts on Philosophy 2 being an acolyte and Hot D Season 2. Her acting doesn't seem distracting, but I'm worried about how they'll handle Garako Loha. So, we've seen all of the, mm. both of the shows. Mm -hmm. But I could say, uh, you wouldn't even have noticed she was in uh, Acolyte at all. Uh, most people didn't, anyway. Yeah, I think Ends she only up had being a couple of lines. A bonus for her. And then, uh, Shiraka Loha was kind of cringe. Very um, cringe. Couple of line deliveries and, uh, that I was like, wall Ugh. breaking the fourth wall breaking like meta stuff was kind of like, hmm. Not, not I've sure never had my immersion was, shattered uh, in something so not, quickly. Yeah, I, I yeah. don't know if I want to be reminded that YouTube exists like while I'm watching the <laughs> Medieval <laughs> Fantasy the show. Yeah. Well, it was, oh, yes, um, the YouTuber, yeah. The, <laughs> there was like a laugh that was really bad, and then just the scenes were just too long. Like they didn't, the, the information we got 
Could have been done in one. One and done. But we had like three or well, four. Especially when couched in the context of an episode that broadly just failed to yeah. deliver like what felt like a real conclusion to season two. The can you Dumbo send signs that you'll play DDLC? Probably not. Send signs, but we already <laughs> saw that what? Uh please little joke there. Greet my BF John Walker. Happy birthday. He loves you guys so much and we'll definitely be surprised to hear this later. Love from PH Love K. Oh, Old hey, John maybe? Walker. I hope you have a great birth I hope you had a great birthday. John Walker, happy birthday for next year. <laughs> Um, yes, may all today, your birthdays yeah. be happy. All of them. And what a great name. You're named right after the best character in Phase 4 of, of the MCU. Best uh, yeah, but shit, I mean, I guess so. Uh, excluding Spider-Man. New character. Ooh, New character. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um... Recommended The Beaver 2011, also starring Mel Gibson, one of his weirder movies. Also High Rags. Hello! A movie called The Beaver probably is going to be an odd one. Pretty sure he has a beaver puppet he talks to in that movie, I think. Oh! <laughs> I think. I remember seeing the trailer. Uh, I always figured the aliens didn't know what water was and what it did to them, and that Earth was the only option they had to do whatever. Nah. Nah, no, no, I don't no. That. <laughs> no. You could maybe get away with a crash landing. That's, that's the way you do that. And Maybe. That they're desperately crawling out of their ship, low resources, but they've got pieces of things they had that don't work maybe as well. But even then, they've got to be smart. They can't be retarded. They get trapped yeah. in a pantry. Do you remember the defense of that was, yeah, well, he wasn't trapped in there forever. He got out. <laughs> oh, all right, wow. <laughs> oh, no. I am Legends holds. Uh, uh, I am Legend holds up well if you watch the originally intended ending, the theatrical ending. Lol. Which one's the original one where he he dies or doesn't? He blows oh, up. Oh shit! I can't, I can't remember which one, which way around it was. I damn, I, I don't remember which one around. <laughs> I have a feeling yeah. that's gonna be a movie like Signs, where I watch it and I'm like, oh, that part's good, that part's good, and that part's good. Not so much the whole thing though. Yeah. Yeah. We should do I Am Legend at some point. I can see that working out. Mm -hmm. That would probably work well within... Well, yeah, we should see it. I wonder if there's like a zombie arc or something we could do. Oh, like oh, maybe could, yeah. alternative zombie? Yeah. Uh, there's all kinds of totally not zombie zombie films. Uh, call it the Shyamalan cycle. First you love him, then you hate him, then you love to hate him, then you hate to love him, then finally you just love him again. Um, I mean, I'll say the happening, when I saw that, that changed my mind on him forever. I was just like, what the uh, hell was that? Just a second! Just a second. <laughs> Work, just give me a second, okay? Why can't anybody give me a goddamn second? We're gonna have to do that for your fat movies. No! What? No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like the reverse jump scare in Midnight Mass where Dracula is in plain sight the whole time but you only notice when he walks out of view. I'm trying to remember which I'm payoff I'm trying to remember was. which one they are referring to. One of the ones I really remember, we loved it, was um, you see the eyes of like a bunch of critters at night and they, they point it out, they're like, yeah, you see, they're, they're like, I think it's cats. They say, like, the island is filled with cats. I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah. And one of the characters, as the scene goes on, notices there's eyes. Like, I think the eyes start closing or something. But uh, there's eyes that are way too high to be a cat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, shit oh, like that. Oh, that's at the very I, beginning, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's the first episode. It's just like, yeah, oh, I love shit like that. That was a good one. Um, And then, yeah, I don't know if you call it a jump scare, but and I guess partial spoilers for Midnight Mass. It's been a while. Um, when uh, Ryan just walks into the the room and the creature's just there like he, oh he's, yeah at the window it's such a like fucking hell <laughs> like but it's just like yep that's happening now i he, think uh... one of the things that sells a lot of the jump scares is that they're the actors they it's very realistic reactions to jump scares that like people would have it's not theatrical it's very just like normal in sure, their yeah. responses you know do you remember um man that show's first five episodes or so <laughs> First eight, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, technically, yeah, you are right. The first eight, that's true. Yeah. 
Do you remember in Bly Manor where uh, the ghosts can choose who can see them and who can't? Like, and I want to say it's the end of episode seven that uh, the girl is like put to bed and she's speaking to one of the ghosts, and then a character who hasn't seen a single ghost like throughout the whole show, or at least not in a way that she understood it to be a ghost, she opens the door. And the musical cue and her reaction tell us that she could see the ghost this time. And it's actually, like, super effective because of the fact that we know... Like, we've known that yeah, there are so ghosts I, for I ages. Now. Yeah. And we're sort of sitting... We're, we're comfortable with all, but then we're like, Oh, shit, she can see her? Uh-oh. <laughs> like, what, what, whoa. Uh, make some more stuff, Mike. We're ready, whenever you are. What a good show. Yeah, we were talking about House of Usher at one, uh, earlier today, right? Well, then Hill we're House. We're talking about them all. Yeah. We'll just talk. We'll just eventually, with every super chat, it'll be our little bingo card goal to talk about every Mike Flanagan show <laughs> that there is. Well, it feels weird because I, I think that era has now started and ended because he's not with Netflix anymore. I'm not sure if he's going to be regularly producing TV shows, which is a shame because I kind of love those four, you know, in their own. He's got ways. a movie coming out, right? He does. I'm just saying that, like, that seemed to be consistent sure. work, and now I'm not sure exactly what the the deal's going to be. That's true. But... Yeah, I mean, it was basically like a TV show a year. Yes, and I uh, I really love the difference between all of them. Good shit. Musical strings can be useful to show characters' unspoken alarm, like Jean Jacket passing for split second in Nope without cue. Moment is blink and miss. Oh yeah, I agree. Uh, the music and the soundtrack can be super helpful for translating what a character is thinking and feeling. Mm -hmm. Tom, I'll need a ride home. Oh, that fucking joke is so good. Uh, you know the flashbacks and sides where he's walking through that area where his wife has been killed gradually. Like we get more and more of it as it goes on. Um. I'm sorry, my brain just blanked out there for a second. <laughs> Rags, do you remember? Just that good. Mm. <sighs> I don't... It's like the core memory, think... where his wife died. I remember the, uh, w which one of those, because there was multiples. There was like two, right? There was one at the beginning that sets it up, and then there's one at the end, where she's dead. I think we get, I can't remember how many pieces there are in total, but I want to say there was at least three, or maybe there are three in total, but in any case, at one point he walks past M. Knight with like a, he's got a blanket over him or whatever, because he's recovering from the whole incident. In the yeah. scary movie version, he walks past him, and I think he looks up and says, I'll need a ride home. <laughs> just, love that movie. Um... <laughs> I haven't seen you. You'll have to show them to me because I have I have essentially not seen any of the scary movie. We'll do. Movies. I think an arc for it. To be honest with you, the thing about it is, scary movie one, you need to see Scream, and I know what you did last summer. Scary movie two, you need to see. Fuck, I think it, I want to say it's the haunted house on haunted hill. I think they're parodying that as well as Charlie's Angels and some other stuff. Uh, not sure about two in terms of. Maybe even The Exorcist, I can't remember. But uh, 3, then, is definitely Signs and The Ring. But you have seen The Ring and Signs. We have seen, yeah. We've seen all the rings. We've seen all three. Yes, we did. Rings was yeah. bad. Rings was bad. That one. That's another one of those films that enough time will pass, and I'll be like, shit, I watched that, and I don't remember a fucking thing from it. It's kind of like the the remake. Uh, what what was the the invasion of the body snatchers? The new oh, one. Oh god, they did? invasion! I think it was just called right. Yeah, that one. That was sucked. terrible. I Ugh. barely remember anything about it. I essentially don't remember anything I don't about want it. To actually, it, kind but, of weird. But yeah, um, and then the fourth scary movie is about uh, makes fun of War of the Worlds and some other stuff. But you know, you pro it's probably worth. We'll have to figure out what we should be familiar with before watching any of them, because you might miss out on some of the jokes, you know? Um, this movie needed Lewis in it. Yeah. Lewis. Lil Platoon, thank you for your dissertation, and Miranda Lawson for the win. All right. From Mass Effect. Yeah. Sutek becomes Sutek. Doctor, we got the wrong anagram. Me, that's not anagram, Doctor. <laughs> yeah, they just switch letters during, as in, like, 
They don't even have the same letters. It's not even. A, it's fine. It's modern Doctor Who. Who cares? Nobody cares anymore. Oh. It's fine. Um, what a twist! What a twist! I think my last super chat on the Ultimate Showdown was lost. Would be cool to see a sort of inverse where you take characters from the same universe like Marvel, DC, Greek Pantheon, etc., and try to balance them such that they could realistically fight each other without it being super one-sided, but still trying to keep all of their recognizable traits. I don't know, that sounds like a lot of work to... And honestly, I'd have to learn more about the Pantheons themselves to but give like, them what's, a fair shake. What's the... So take, for example, Wolverine versus... Uh, who's like a really low-powered Marvel person? Uh... We... Winter Soldier? Falcon. <laughs> Maybe. Because what's Falcon going to do against Wolverine ultimately, even if he has his guns and can fly? It is not... You know, and it's like, so what do you do to either of them to balance this out? It's like, well, do we give regen to Falcon, or do we take regen away from Wolverine? At this, Like, I would say, I, I don't know if I find that fun as much as I do random fights with all kinds of famous guys because it would, it would take a while to to balance them out and then you're not even dealing with who they are in a way yeah or what they are um finally that one school essay on this terrible movie a decade ago is coming in clutch ah oh. rule for director roles be quick scene like quentin tarantino or peter jackson or be main character from get-go early like early peter jackson or ben still a problem with m night is he hijacks important mid-story there is an art to cameoing in your own work. Be careful. It's do not have an ego is probably yeah. like <laughs> high on that list. Peter Jackson, it, like it truly really is a cameo. He eats like a carrot in the Hobbit. Um, and that's kind of like it, you know, a random soldier guy. You got to do him for, I feel like you got to do him for the right reason. Just a little bit of fun. Like, oh, hey, it's me. You know, yeah. I popped up in it. If Snyder made signs, the aliens would be here for the corn. Fuck yeah, they would. We need corn to fuel our intergalactic armies. Yeah. Uh, Synthetic Man was right about you guys. Did he say that we're awesome? He said we're awesome <laughs> and handsome, and we're very cool. Well, you know what? <laughs> Broken clocks, yeah, I mean, am the, I right? I mean, hey, the guy's right. Just don't tell them about uh, some of our some of the traits that we have. The okay. evil signs, signs. You couldn't even have a movie like Sorcerer from William Friedkin, Master and Commander. You know, something good to wash out the taste of the acolyte. Hey, listen, signs is fun. we watch signs. Signs has moments. It does. We watch all kinds of movies. Mel Gibson was in it. Look at him go. A lot of the movies we watch don't even, they're not, they're just because we watch movies sometimes. Mm -hmm. They're not even for episodes. You can't Doobie play this movie for that. watching. Bunzo on the Bunzo. Hi, Rex. Hey. Have a soda on me. What's your favorite? Oh. Um, you know, I'm a classic. Uh, oh, I will say Bucky's Cola is pretty good. Mm. Um, the Bucky stuff, that's pretty good. But typically, if I get a soda, it's just going to be a Coca-Cola. Um, if I, uh, a lot of times I'll get energy drink uh, Rockstar. I like Rockstar. Um, but I don't, you know, if I get an energy drink, it'll be Rockstar. If I get a soda, it'll probably be Coke. Dr. Pepper will do okay. It's not terrible. I don't mind. I don't, yeah, I don't mind Dr. Pepper. I guess I don't mind most sodas. I just don't really drink them. If I'm going to have one, I'll have Coke. I just like the taste. EFAP has no dull moments. Nope. You know it. Since you're an Eldritch being, Moolah, how many times have you had to send Rags to the farm and have him come back younger and different looking? He's eternal. I am eternal. I'm like a, an Elder Lich. He's from... Uh, he's got all that power from that same similar dimension. Plenty of beings do. Look. Harmful opinions. He wasn't lying when he said Rags the Magical Talking Dog. All right. <laughs> Joel chloroformed the vet. All right. M. Knight is a Hindi? Why is Jesus taking the wheel? Oh, did Jesus... Wait, was that part of the film's point was that she had to die in order to save them from the alien or whatever? I can't remember. I think we talked about that. Yeah, God weird. had to... God had to give the wife the horrible, terrible death and agony 
Oh, I guess she didn't feel a thing because of her nerves being fucking separated by the car holding her in place. But she had to die so that the alien invasion could she be could say swing away. somewhat thwarted. Which he would have done <laughs> anyway, damn it. <laughs> the bat was right there. You need a weapon against this fucking alien creature. Why not get the bat? It's, it's surprising to me he didn't have the bat anyway. Most Why people would grab a bat. Why not say in English, grab the bat? Isn't you it like a meme it? to grab the bat when people come into your house? Kind of. It's not what I grab. Well, I was going to say... When I don't you're mean not... I masturbate on them. I mean, I grab We went gun. over this, Rags. They didn't have any fucking guns. It was bizarre. It's <laughs> weird, yeah. It was really odd. This the thing is, farm family. I feel like with everything we know in that film, the guns would have annihilated those aliens easily. Seems <laughs> like yeah. it. They're just naked. <laughs> <laughs> this, inter this intergalactic spacefaring civilization, they're just naked. I think we talked about it. I was clothes. like, you want that crazy uncle character, and you know, the alien's holding the kid, it's like, Wah! and then he just holds up a gun and goes, and it just blows his head off, and he's like, you okay, kid? <laughs> Alien motherfucker. Kind of like uh, yeah, exactly. Michael Ironside in Extraterrestrial. Remember, he had loads of guns. That's right, he did. I thought I was he done was with Star Wars friend. after Obi Wan, but watching the new EFAP minis made me so angry about how Star Wars keeps getting butchered. And yeah, mm. it ain't over. Oh boy, it ain't over. It'll, <sighs> it'll. Well, I'd say it'll never be over, but I mean, it actually can't go on actually, forever. Yeah, exactly. They can't just keep losing money forever. They money doesn't actually grow on trees. That. Wait, just thought of something. Wouldn't morning dew cause them all kinds of havoc? Hell, moisture in the air around temperate areas would eat their lungs yeah, away like course. acid. Yep. Yep, sure yep. would. <laughs> and we'd all laugh. <laughs> we'd be like, ha ah, <laughs> ha ah, ah. <laughs> They're writhing on the floor, fucking idiots. <laughs> Lose. <laughs> wrong planet to invade. I grew up with those fingers, alien Stuckman. Because <laughs> it gets them chopped off in the pantry. You've seen Alien vs. Predator, now get ready for Alien vs. Pantry. Yeah. Pantry to her. Two, uh, two for one on memorable movie viewing. There was a baby brought into Jurassic World 1 under the dad wised up and left the stupid mum on her own. Well, damn. Well, maybe don't bring a baby to Jurassic World. I don't know. Don't bring a baby Listen. to watching movies, probably. Unless well, yeah, well, Hera home, could bring her kid into a war zone, and that was alright, remember? Uh, that's fair, yeah. Remember we talked? That was the whole thing we had to criticize. That required defense, I guess, that you shouldn't bring your kid into a war zone. Same viewing, the part where the brother takes the bull ride car in the restricted area, a smart seven-year-old kid behind me says, don't go in there, dummy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Remember when Skeletor said, I am not nice. I am not nice. Why would he say that? You don't need to say that. Maybe he was he was frustrated because he, he shouldn't have to say it, you know? Yeah. Uh, the recruiter speculated everything he just said. Oh, do you mean the recruiter said the things that, in a video that we were looking at? I'm not sure, maybe. Stuff about the scouts or whatever. Um, but what drunk C-3PO wants to know is, did they take the butter dish? Maybe. These are the things you have to check after an alien invasion. You need to know what specifically strange things they did. Why are we is talking that a about... Is that a reference to some of the butter dish? I think so, yeah. Not as familiar oh. with it, I'm afraid. I'm not either. That sounds funny, though. Yeah. Why are we talking I'm... about signs? EFAP 300 is coming out. Yeah, it's coming out. It's It'll be here any day now. <laughs> any, any second. <laughs> um... <laughs> Fringy isn't very scary. He's more like a six foot turkey boy from Jurassic Frig. <laughs> boy, well, six from foot turkey. <laughs> 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 and with that, the final super chat has been read for that Woo! episode. Thank you all so much for your kind. I guess donations. you could say that was a good sign. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the messages, folks, and we will see you in the next thingamajig, whatever it may be. Bye-bye. Yeah, everybody. We will see, see you later. See you later, everybody. Have a good bye -bye. day. Bye-bye.